What's up guys and welcome back with some more Genshin Impact and we are here with the finale, I'm pretty sure, to Ballads and Brews. So this is part number three. I believe this is the finale. Um, yeah, it is Aroma of the Past. So it says, go to the Knights of Favonius headquarters. The Knights have provided Razor with the ingredients he needs and preparations seem to almost be complete. Head over to the Knights of Favonius headquarters to check in on them. Alright. Let's see how this concludes then. Because I don't... I like... I don't think this is more than three parts. I'm pretty sure it's a three-parter, but if it's more, it wouldn't be the first time that this has happened in a side event of where I'm like, oh, wait, there's actually a lot more. Worthless. So we shall see. Hmm. Hyman wonders how Razor's class has been going. I guess we're about to see. Oh, and also be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. Y'all already know it helps out very so much. Cool. Noel, when was the last time I saw you? I, oh, geez, I say that for so many characters. But Noel, how how are ya? Well, uh -huh. it, it it's been so. Wait a minute, have they never entered? Wait a minute, was Noel never introduced, like in the main, like in in the, in the story normally? I mean, I remember her hangouts, but was she not? Or has it just been that long that they're giving us this? Shoot, I don't even know. Noelle, a maid of the Knights of Favonius, is known as a gentle and reliable woman who could be called upon and to help in times of trouble. Noelle rejoiced when she was given a responsibility to be seen as a big help in this a difficult situation. To be able to help people in trouble, to lend others strength, this in her mind is in line with the, mere, with, the, with the principles of chivalry. Indeed, Noelle dreamed of becoming a full knight in order to realize the stream she has been working hard. Honorary knight! Paimon! Please stop her! Sucrose! Hey. Is it bad that I forgot these two characters existed? <laughs> Sucrose and I agreed to present the wine ingredient to you together. But when she heard that Razor will be showing up, she insisted that she won't spend a moment longer here than she has to. Huh? I, I'm not good at dealing with strangers. Anyway, as long as the ingredient gets into the right hands, that's all that matters. Oh, that won't do. We worked on this together, and we should present it together. I can't take credit for what you did. It's not about the credit. Wait, so does this mean the Knights of Avonius' ingredient is a product of bioalchemy? Yes, it's a quadruple sweetness sunsetia. Hmm. Quadruple sweetness? But aren't regular ones sweet enough as it is? Also, why a sunsetia? Okay, um, let me give you the full story. All right. Break it down. I love the scent of wine, and after reading up on the art of winemaking, I have grasped some of the key principles. In short, whatever ingredients you use, it's essential to include something sweet. Wait, well, yeah, you don't want it to be super bitter, right? In an attempt to select the most suitable ingredient, I gathered samples of all the sweet plants and fruits I could find in the Mondstadt area. Then, I tried them all in turn and took detailed notes. I think I've only had wine once. I've had, like, champagne and... And stuff like that. I've had tequila, but wine I think I only had once. I also factored in the hmm. differences between the same ingredient grown in different locations. For instance, I haven't drank normal beer before Spring though. Day, have not. A little sweeter than those at Cape Oath. Wow. That sounds like a lot of work. Mm -hmm. It was no problem at I had, all. Had rose. Just my duty as a maid of Favonius. Hmm. The chance to source the defender's will on behalf of the Knights of Favonius is a huge honor for me. Noel, your eyes are sparkling. Oh, aren't you excited? But Paimon thinks it could be because of Lisa's brainwashing. <laughs> Lisa's brainwashing. Paimon, shush. Um, anyway, I, I was worried that my evaluation would be too subjective if only I were involved. Thankfully, I ran into Sucrose the other day on her way out of the lab. Oh no. Mm -hmm. What is it, Sucrose? The hell happened with you? I just remembered why I left the lab that day. I was supposed to go and fetch some lab equipment we imported recently. Oh. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. That look on your face seems to say you forgot all about it and have been in the lab this whole time. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh. <sighs> Don't worry about it. It's my fault, really. I'll go and see Marjorie about the equipment shortly. Carry on, Noel. Oh, okay. Anyway, 
Sucrose is a true professional when it comes to this kind of research. I showed her my list, and she made some extremely valuable suggestions. Please, you don't need to go out of your way to compliment me. Noel filled me in on the background of the whole situation. I was moved to see how seriously she took this task, even though she'd never even met Razor before. However, none of the potential ingredients she had identified were perfect candidates, in my opinion. What we needed was a fruit high in sugar and easily fermentable. After a final look at Noel's list, I picked the Zensetia sample from near Cider Lake as a basis, with a view to improving it. Using bioalchemical techniques, we were able to amplify the sweetness, then conduct a few tests to compare the results against the benchmarks. Watching Sucrose work on an experiment when she's in the zone blew me away. Such focus and determination. I already said don't compliment me. <laughs> anyway, the result of our research is the Epsilon series Tetrasweet Sensetia, variation 63. And it's finally ready. The sweetness has been verified through rigorous testing. And the size and color are both optimal, too. Noel shortened the name to Quadruple Sweetness Sensetia. Unfortunately, it can't be produced on a very large scale under the current conditions. But as long as we have enough for Razor. Can I have a little bite just to take? Yeah, can I get a little, a little piece? Hey, what's wrong with you? W what? I wanted to try it. Traveler, there's something else I, <laughs> I, just, I, I just I just wanted to see what would happen if I said that. Growing up, I was lucky. I was never the best at dealing with other people, but my parents never placed any expectations on me. Mm -hmm. They never said to me, you need to be more sociable or anything like that. They just said I should do what I enjoy. So, I'm well aware that I'm one of the lucky ones. I haven't lived Razor's life, and I can't pretend to imagine what it must have been like. So, I don't know how much it will mean coming from me, but I truly hope he can find happiness and spend his life doing what he loves. I mean, yeah, you're helping us with that by, you know, providing the Sunsetia, so it's okay. Oh. Oh. She just booked it. Sorry, I am late again. Teacher forgot about the time. Kept, Kept talking. talking and talking. Yeah, that sounds like uh, Lisa. Yeah? That's all right. We were just chatting. Whoa, deja vu. Paimon said the exact same thing two days ago. Uh, wait a sec. Where did Sucrose go? She gone. She disappeared the moment he opened the door. Relatable. <laughs> I'm Noelle, maid of the Knights of Pavonius. Hi. Here's our ingredient for you. Oh, but I can't take full credit for it. I had help from an alchemist, but right now... She, um... She's a little busy with work. Right, yes. It's a shame she couldn't be here to present it to you in person. <sighs> Smells like... Potion. Nectar and animal crystal fly, right? Wow, nothing gets past your nose, does it? This Sunsetia is sweeter than ones I have smelled before. Klee said alchemy is amazing. It can make things better. That's right. I hope that this sweet fruit will help you brew the sweetest wine. The alchemist girl also had a message to pass on. Spend your life doing what you love. Thank you all. When she has time, I want to thank her also. Leave that to me. I'll figure out a way to persuade her to, uh, to not work so hard all the time so that I can introduce you to each other. Yes, yes, but of course. Okay, I will wait. All right, now that we have all the ingredients, we can finally start making the wine. For that, we'll need a barrel. Which, if Paimon remembers correctly, is waiting for us at the Angel Share stand. Yep. Bye, Noel. We're gonna head off now. Thank you. Good luck with everything. See you next time. Till next time, whenever that is. We'll be seeing ya. All right, let's go get that barrel. Make sure I went to the right teleporter this time. Freaking last part, I went to the wrong one. I'm over there in a daily commission. In the world, Diona. Our fairy knight Razor over here. Look, wow, it's Diana. I'm always sure we'd run into you at the Cat's Tail stand sometime, but so far we haven't seen you all festival. 
Why does she look like she moody? Ooh, yep, I told you. Yeah, she moody. Oh boy. Diona. Well, so this is the first time that you're in an event. Because, we, yeah, we only hung out with you what, during your, your your hangout quest, which was hilarious. Diona, the bartender at the Cat's Tail, hates all alcoholic beverages, but has a rare talent for bartending. No matter the drink, as long as the mixing is in her hands, it will be unimaginably delicious. Yes, I remember this. Her excellent bartending skills and her cat's ears and tail that will run in her family. Well, yeah, that run in her family are popular among hunters, making the cat's tail extremely popular. However, please do not touch Diana's ears when or tail when ordering at the bar. If you cross her, the consequences will be dire. <gasps> Kree told me the whole story. So, this bright idea was a brainchild of you two? Hmm. How could you? Razor is Daddy's friend, and he was a good influence. Right up until you got him interested in wine. Listen, oh my god, here we go. Here we go. <sighs> Razor, you better promise me that you won't turn into one of those old booze hounds that drinks themselves silly slumps over the bar and bursts into tears. Don't turn into an alcoholic. I, uh, I don't understand. She doesn't want you to drink your sorrow away, man. <laughs> That's what she said. Sounds like there's been some crossed wires here. Yeah, for sure. Cree, what exactly did you say to Diona? Um, I told her that Razor is looking for his mommy with the honorary knight's help, and you both seemed really sad and said you needed some wine so maybe Diona could help. Oh boy. But before I finished, Diona said, Cree, say no more. I'm getting involved in this if it's the last thing I do. And then we came here. I see. Oh boy, <laughs> this is so stupid. Okay, Hyman doesn't even know where to start. Um, Diona, it sounds like Klee left out a few important details in the story. Yeah, we're not becoming al we're, we're not becoming alcoholics, okay? You explain the situation to Diona. So Oof. you're saying Razor wants to make the same wine that his mother and father once made, so he can learn more about them? Hmm. You better not be making this up to try to pull the wool over my eyes. No, we're not making it up. Listen, absolutely not. Sorry, Diona. It was all Cree's fault for not explaining it properly. So, are you still mad? Or can you help Razor make the wine? I caught a bunch of fish for us to eat. Um, and you can pack Dodoko too. Freaking Dodoko, dude. I wasn't that angry. Yeah, okay. We're just trying to help. I understand. I just don't want Razor being led astray. That's all. That's why I may have raised my voice a little bit. Yeah, just yeah, just that. a little bit. Well, since none of you plan on drinking it, then I suppose I can help you just this once, despite my reservations. Oh, we're getting help from and everybody I over here. You to know that I'm a mixer. Not a brewer. So I'm used to working with the finished product. If you really want me to start with a bunch of raw ingredients, that's fine. But I can't make any promises about how it'll turn out. Yay! Diona is the best! <laughs> Alright, don't worry, Diona. You got this. I mean, hey, in that hangout quest, you still never messed up a drink, so you got this. Now watch this. Alright. She puts her magic to work. Hell yeah, what's with that? We just need to find a place to store it. We wait, wait for a windier day. Hmm. Does that mean we need to put it somewhere exposed to the wind? Maybe wind rise? Very windy. Hmm. Yep, if you say the word windy, that's the first place on every monster's mind. Cool, I want to come too. I have to keep an eye on my foolish father, so... I won't be joining you. Well, you have fun. Thanks for the help. Please, come and play again some other time. I will. I promise. All right. Let's get a move on. Mm. 
Venti, venti, venti. Oh, what a curious coincidence meeting you here. Mm-hmm. Almost like you were waiting for us. Well, I awoke to the most magnificent aroma in the air. After following the sweet scent of fresh fruit to its source, this is where I ended up. Yeah, the fruit is super fresh and super duper sweet. I can smell it as well. <laughs> Yeah, there's another reason, isn't there? Yes! Oh, uh, I remembered something important. Something that you have to do before sealing the barrel and burying it in the ground. What? We missed something? Freezer, do you still remember the scent of that half bottle of Thousand Wind wine? I believe there was a hint of bitterness in there? Yes, there was. <laughs> and with very good reason, too. The source? This! Dandelion seeds! Hmm. You're familiar with dandelion wine, right? Well, the people of Mondstadt believe that the wind can bring back the soul, and also preserve memories. Dandelion seeds are like living gemstones, formed from the first wisps of wind in the year. People add them to the mix at the last second as a way of capturing the wind in the very moment that the barrel is sealed. The memory of that moment is then stored in the wine for all time. So, Thousand Wind Wine is the original dandelion wine. Wow! Hmm. That's so cool! So now our story will be made into wine too! Wine that you'll never drink. As for why it always has a different scent, well, that's because people have the freedom to include whatever ingredients they want. <laughs> mm. Hmm. What is it, Razor? What you thinking about? In Mother and Father's Wine, I can smell dandelion seeds, but I don't know what else. In my wine, there is a lot of friendship. Hmm. I still don't understand my mother and father, but I still have you and everyone else. Everyone has done so much for me. Farka, Teacher, Clee, Bennett, Uncle Brown Cat, Cold Lady, Grown Up with Cold a lady. Smile. <laughs> yeah. Gray tough girl, person that smells like animal crystal fly, Uncle Brown Cat's daughter, Green Bard, Paimon, and Traveler. Yes, sir. I remember everyone. Making wine is hard work. Making this wine needed everyone working together. Hard work with friends? Not so hard after all. I'm... I'm so happy. I'm glad. Hey. It makes us happy to see you happy. Thank you. Friends are also Lupacol. Whether I'm human or I'm wolf, it doesn't matter. From now on, all of us are together. When I grow up, we will come back here and we will open this wine together. Sounds good. <laughs> what a magnificent monologue. If they make us age Even in this game. <laughs> I don't feel like there's anything else to add. All that remains now is to bury the barrel and wait, wait for the fruit to ferment. The group buries the barrel in the ground. We're finally done! Paimon feels like a celebration is in order. Um, if Paimon remembers correctly, tomorrow should be wind coming day, right? Wow! The animal god is coming home! <laughs> <laughs> uh, that reminds me. I haven't memorized the song for the toasting ceremony yet. <laughs> mm. I better get back. Friends, I shall see you all tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Get a good night's sleep tonight. Wait for the whisper of the gentle breeze to rouse you tomorrow morning. Then come and enjoy a performance by the greatest bard to ever grace the streets of Mondstadt. Can't wait. It'll be quite the performance. Razor, you were so cool back there. Cool, but inside I feel warm. This dude. <laughs> no, not like that. When you think something's awesome, you can say it's cool or sweet. Oh. Hmm. hmm. But I think Clea is sweet. That was wholesome. That was wholesome as hell, dude. All right, let's wrap up this event, shall we? So, at what time am I waiting towards? Following day 10 to 14, right around there. I was trying to get that perfect 10, but I'll take it. OK. 
Okay, okay. Let us finish this. And this is where we get like we uh get to see the cutscene, yeah? The cutscene that what's it called? I saw people were like what's it called posting and I was so confused. I was like, wait what? <laughs> so now I actually get to see this. have shown up to welcome the animal archon uh, huh why is everyone crowded around the angel share stand tradition holds that the finest wine of the vine lisa fest only goes on sale after the animal archon has tasted it at the toasting ceremony mm. everyone's waiting in line for the big moment Ugh. so welcoming the animal archon back is just a means to an end for them huh what about you lisa are you here for razor Yes, I was feeling a little concerned about him, but I just spoke with him, and he tells me that the winemaking went very smoothly. Ah, <sighs> such a relief. A glass of the festival's finest will go down smoothly now, too. Wow, you too, huh? <laughs> Razor and the others are over there. You should go say hi. Okay. Hey, hey, there you are. What's up, Benny? What's with all these bottles? Selling your own homebrew now? <laughs> these are for Razor, from us. Mommy said that everyone's welcoming the animal god today, and we need to give him some wine. If the animal god likes the wine, he'll turn into the wind and bless everyone. He'll get drunk as hell. We want the animal god to be happy, so he helps Razor. <laughs> oh, honorary knight! Look what Albedo let me borrow. This bottle is from my dad. Luckily, I managed not to break it on the way here. <laughs> uh, it's just for show, though. I have to give it back to them afterwards. Mommy said that the animal god can drink a lot of wine. She said if he wanted to, he could drink the whole of Cider Lake in one big gulp. Yeah. So, just one gulp, eh? think we'd have enough between these? And the wine raiser's parents left behind? Ah, Green Bard. Uh -uh. Everyone, I am greatly honored to be able to be here today. I have been invited by Acting Grandmaster Jean of the Knights of Avonius to perform a piece for everyone Thousand Wind Wine. It is some of the finest verse I know. I dedicate it to the wind and to everyone here with us today. Well, here we go. Fill up the barrels and store them away Then wait, wait for a windier day Wax the bottles, seal them tight For the south wind that soothes, for the north wind that bites Shout out to Erica Harlatcher, by the way, because she's the one who voice acts Venti, and she could actually sing, as you can tell here. Does she does a great job. To the tongue, as monster to the ear, like a sweet dream of freedom. And what are the fruits that went into the brew? An explorer's courage, a love tender and true. A defender's will, strong as yesteryear. Joining the thousand winds in a song of good cheer. Turning sour into sweet, bitter notes fade away as we wait, wait for a windier day. Pray tell, what treasure does this barrel hold? Tis wheat's greatest triumph, the true liquid gold. As it flows from the keg, what sound drifts by? Wind chimes in the boundless immemorial sky. We raise up our glasses and voices in song as we wait. Wait for the wind to sing along. Where do we turn once the thousand winds take flight? To the tales of the lyre, to the sweet dream of tonight. Dear friends, let us now. Hey, a good round of applause. That was good. To the animal archon. To the animal archon. Give a round of applause. To the animal archon. Round of applause. Round of applause. To the animal archon. Vanti. Don't feel sad, Clee. But why didn't he come? If the animal god didn't come home, 
Is it because he doesn't like the wine we brought for him? It's because he's singing over there. Of course I don't think so. Not. You know, Klee, the wind isn't the only form that the animal archon can turn into. He can turn into anything. So today, he must have come back looking like something else. <laughs> yep. Huh? There you Maybe? go. Maybe he turned into a Chumpy Dumpty. No, 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 not the bombs. Sure, Chumpy Dumpty it is. Hope you're listening, Animal Archon. Yeah. <laughs> Razor, did the Animal Archon bring you a blessing? Yes. <laughs> True. Excuse me. I talked a lot with you all. And I learned a lot. It seems like it. Now, I am not afraid. I think that is a blessing. It is. Don't forget to save me a glass of your wine once it's finished fermenting. Okay. It will remind us of this moment. Yes. We share together, and we remember together. Imagine a few years from now, in, in this game, they, they actually let us go back as an event and go drink it. You better drink a little Capri Sun or something. We've all done a lot of talking. Let's go get something to drink, shall we? I heard that the Angel Share is selling a new drink called Fruits of the Festival. Everyone's saying it's delicious. <gasps> I want some! I want some! <laughs> okay, everyone. Let's go. Ah, uh, yes. It is cutscene time. <laughs> I'm happy for Razor, though, dude. He's, he's had a lot of growth. He honestly has. He went from being out in the wilderness, being alone, not having any friends, to really having people that care about him and want the best for him, and that he considers family. The wind. Mm. Klee is so wholesome, though. Oh, my God. Hmm. Yeah, Venti. Ain't nobody see you doing that. <laughs> you just made Klee's day with doing that. Oh my god. Diona's like, nah, you ain't you ain't getting drunk. Rosaria just chilling. Crush it and place it on the fracture. Listen, Missy. Promise me you'll live on. Hmm. There's Kaya. <laughs> of course. Where you must stay. You are our only hope. Keeping Forget an eye on the Luke. Kaya. <laughs> good, very good. That's my boy. I will always be proud of you. Hmm. Aww. All the time we spent on it, the wine still isn't ready. <laughs> May as well leave it for our son. Razor. What do you think of that name? Oh, an adventurer's name. Yes, I like it. Razor. Oh, jeez. Poor, poor dude. Poor dude. But I'm happy that he's happy now, though. Even though his parents have disappeared. He's got people around him that treat him like family. And then in that scene, that was cool too to see the other characters just reminisce back with their family. Yes, that was nice. That was a that was a very cute, wholesome cutscene, enjoyable event. I must say, I must say. So I mean, if you enjoyed this video, and you, please hit that like button. If you're new, subscribe to the channel. Always greatly appreciated over here. Road to 7,000 subscribers continues. As more Genshin content comes out, events and such, we will be there to check them out. And I'll make sure for the next event, I'm here quicker. It's just like I said, I wasn't even aware that this was going on before. But obviously now I am. So I'll try to get these videos out as quick as possible to you guys. But until the next one, I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm uploading, when I'm streaming, whatever the case is. And as always, don't do crack. Be sure to subscribe to the Special K Experience if you enjoyed this video. If not, you're going to Femboy IHOP. <laughs>